Hello friends, welcome back to another Nail It With Me. I'm still deciding my polish, to be quite honest. I got a bunch from KB Shimmer today in PR, and I can't decide if I want to do one of these or something else. I kind of feel like I should do one of these so I can get it posted. That one um, on this side was RV There Yet, and then this is Easy Glowing. They also sent... Happy camper. Um, I felt like this was like more yellow, but now I'm looking at it and it feels really green. I think we're just going to go with it. I just need to file a little bit and push back my cuticles. I broke my pinky a little while ago. A couple days. So I need to get... Get it grown out and reshaped. I currently have a freaking like ingrown toenail, I think. And it's like healing, I believe, but it's driving me nuts. I've never had such a thing. And I've got it soaking right now. But we've just been doing so much hiking and stuff that I think my my feet are like, what is happening? <laughs> and yeah, my poor little toenails might just be a little too long. But we have another trip coming up here this weekend, so I'm trying to get it feeling better. We just recently went to our first national park, which was super cool. And I did grab like one of those, you can get like this little passport. And at each of the national parks, they'll have a stamp that you can put into your little passport. So... We grabbed one of those. I'm excited to start filling that up. I would say that we've probably been to like half of the Indiana State Parks. Um, so we still have a lot to do with that. Filing on camera is so hard for me. But basically I was just saying that we've been going to a lot of state parks. We went to our first national park this past weekend. And next weekend we are going to be going to our first out of the state park really I think can't think of any other park state parks that we've been to besides Indiana ones so my feet are like dude what the hell is happening okay I'm just gonna push cuticles back get some stuff off of them I don't really want to do cuticle remover right now and I'm gonna be painting my nails here in just a few days anyway but I'm trying to keep polish on them so that they don't break I've worn a few gel manicures um, um, my nails are just a little thinner than normal just because of my application and removal and such of the gels so I'm just trying to keep polish on them and keep them strong I'm gonna pop up some pictures of some of our recent hikes and show you I think that I just forget sometimes that there's still things to do in Indiana even though we don't think about it really like that. We're like, oh, it's Indiana. There's nothing fun or nothing interesting. But we've seen some really beautiful places going to all of these parks. So I'll throw up some pictures for you to see. If you don't want to look at them or um, don't care, I'll try to put up a timestamp so that you can skip through them. Finally time to paint. I'm going to be using my Loud Lacquer Base Coat. This is the Sticky Base. And then I'm going to do the QB Shimmer Easy Glowing. I think that's a fun polish. And I'm going to use my Zoya Naked Top Coat. KB Shimmer did send a top coat over to me, which I greatly appreciate, but their top coat does contain tooling and I don't use products that have that. So I'm not going to be using that, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with my base coat. I did put on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions and like kind of just Q&A type of thing for this video so I'd have something to talk about. And you... um. I have a few questions. I'll try to get through them. One of the questions was, 
what would be like my ideal polish um I honestly don't know because part of me thinks like if you don't know I'm a cream polish finish person that is my ideal finish and so I'd kind of feel like a cream ideal polish is <laughs> like boring so I'll do a cream ideal and then I'll do like a specialty finish ideal um I think I really 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 enjoy um Susie Chase's Portuguese from OPI even though I don't purchase from them anymore I still have the one that I originally purchased and I am always looking for a dupe on that one but I really do like that polish. It's like a white with just a hint, a drop of gray. I did grab um, Moonshine Manny's dupe for my boyfriend's Gills Walls. And that one's pretty good too. So I do like both of those. But like basically some kind of off-white gray polish. I just think that they look so nice and classy. And I love a crisp like white Manny but with a little hint of something to it. For the specialty finish, I'm really trying to think. I honestly don't know. I really like actually another um, KB Shimmer polish. I'll try to put up a picture of at least like the bottle or something. But there's a KB Shimmer polish that's kind of like a light blue base with a pearlescent-ish flaky in it. And it's so pretty. And I do really like that, but I just don't know if that's like my ideal... I do kind of think it would be something with flakies in it. I love a flaky polish. I think they're just so fun and interesting. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Because part of me thinks like, again, a white base. Like, 90 Dragon Fruit Freeze I think is so much fun. But then I'm also like, I kind of think that I would like maybe a color. And my go-to color is kind of like a teal, Tiffany blue, turquoisey color. I don't know. I can't make up my mind on a specialty finish one. Let me know what your ideal polish would be. Like, if you could make any polish in the world, what would it be and what would you name it? Another question that I was asked was about any new merch coming out. And I'm not sure, like, if you mean just nail polish related things, but um, I do have my business, which is all nail polish related. It's Cork Designs. I always have it linked down below, but I've kind of transitioned, like, my merch stuff that I was making, like the nail polish sweatshirts, over into um, just business attire and a, a small business option. So if you're looking for more designs, there's, there's typically things coming out every season over there. I don't think I'll have anything huge for fall. I'm trying to decide on what to release um, for fall. But yeah, as far as like a merch type of option, I would say that the Cork Designs um, Etsy shop would be the main place to go. And we have obviously an Instagram that you can follow so that you can see what we have coming out next. I obviously had like the main polished sweatshirts that um, were like the first thing I ever kind of launched based off of wearing it in one of my YouTube videos and you all really enjoyed it. So that's a design and then I have a polish for everyone that shows eight different skin tones, um, wearing polish, and we have like a holographic option and we launched tumbler cups this past summer like just a few months ago. Not a few months ago, I guess it would have been last month, this month, earlier this month, last month. I don't remember. Um, we have some specialty like pride options that will always be available with donations to different organizations. So there are all kinds of things over on the Cork Design page for nails. Another question I had was what are some of my like quick favorite easy meals like a go-to um I have a bunch of nail it with me's where I like cook and then do my nails so if you are into like meals and cooking and 
different recipes you could probably check out some of those videos but really kind of like a staple that I go to to just to have something that's like a little bit different than just a plain pasta is a lemon pasta and it's super easy because all you need is like pasta lemon and some cream cheese and that's pretty much the recipe I'll leave it linked down below but basically you just make some spaghetti or really any kind of pasta I usually do spaghetti and then you will take some water and cream cheese and lemon zest and lemon juice and um, kind of heat all that up together to make a really nice sauce and then you put like red pepper flakes on it for a little spicy sour kind of sauce. I love lemon pasta, it's one of my favorites. The boyfriend is not a fan, um, but that's definitely a quick go-to. Another one that's super easy and that's really like um, limited on dishes is just a one pot Cajun vegan pasta and we started doing it to cut out some of the dairy for my boyfriend but basically you put in some bell pepper, um, some tomatoes, almond butter, any kind of milk we use a plant-based milk and a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch of spices to kind of counteract all of that like nut flavor that you're getting and then you just go in and dump in the pasta and let it cook in that one pot so I will put that down below again because it's Sounds like a lot, but really it's just a few different stages and then everything's in one pot and you're just cooking the pasta. It ends up being really, really good and obviously it's a vegan meal, but if you're just wanting to have like a light on dairy or not at all dairy dinner, then we will add chicken to it sometimes. I'm not sure if this is going to need more than one coat of top coat, but I will let you know, obviously. I can't decide on this polish. I think it's a really nice color base, but I kind of think it has like like too much flakies. Like if it had half the amount of flaky, I feel like I would be a little bit more interested in it. It's a stunning polish. I know that a lot of you are going to love it. There's n absolutely nothing wrong with it, but like I said, I lean a little bit more towards a cream, and if I do have something like a specialty finish, I usually like it to be a little bit more sparse so that the base color comes through, but these are my favorite kind of flakies. They're like a yellow, yellow gold, like super fun, kind of almost pinky flaky, and the base color is gorgeous. I'm loving this like super bright neon yellowy orange yellowy orange yellowy green i'm gonna let this dry down a little bit and see how that first coat of top coat goes sometimes i like to just add another anyway just to make sure that all of those flakies are encased in top coat i actually think it's good in one coat of top coat it actually looks super shiny and really really like even so that's it really thank you all for watching and asking me some questions over on my instagram if i get any more i will put them in another video let me know down below what your ideal perfect polish would be and if there's any other videos that you would like to request please leave them down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one